Hello, Libra. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's get right into your reading. There's a manifestation that's coming for you. Something's manifesting. Wait. I'm also getting like this energy of wait until it's finished cooking. You know, you have to wait till something is finished. I'm just thinking about kids. It's like, <clears throat> is it finished yet? Is it finished yet? Keep on asking, are we there yet? Are we there yet? You have courage and bravery. Also take, a char take charge and action. Be courageous. Take action. So something else could be telling you to wait. The situation will approve. Okay, so there's going to be a perfect moment where you need to be ready to take action. So I feel like that this is a moment where you are to literally get more information. Now isn't the right time to take a certain type of action. Now there's a need for you to get like forgiveness and understanding of a situation. I'm getting like staying. It's like the knights that's standing and waiting. They're not sitting there fighting all day. Or like, let's say if you're like a police officer or like a security guard or something like that. You're not like, every day something doesn't happen where you have to take action, full force, something like that. But um, you're supposed to observe everything. And when something comes to you, you're supposed to be ready. It gives me the question, like, are you ready for this manifestation? <clears throat> if this manifestation were to come to you, would you be ready enough to take action, take the necessary action that you needed for the manifestation? To hold the manifestation, to have the manifestation. Are you ready for this? Are you making yourself ready? What does your soul say? What is your soul telling you to say? Some of you guys, your soul said that you are ready. You are making yourself ready. You are in the ready position. Like you're not going to fumble it. And then some of your souls are saying you need to get ready. We need to get in the ready position. somebody's gonna be starring in something <clears throat> i'm feeling the heat of a star there's a star we have a star in our hands somebody is a star are you ready are you ready for this amazing opportunity is there somebody who you need to forgive or something that you need to understand to get ready for this amazing opportunity coming towards you but you're a star Feeling stardom. Somebody has to be brave, bold, all that good stuff. It's good news coming to you. Like, are you ready? I'm getting like before the race. Like, you know, when the races, they're waiting to hear the sound of that, that gun or whatever you call it. Um, to take off. And then some people aren't ready and they mess up their whole, you know, some people, they get, they get it back together. And we've seen like some people actually win the race or, you know, make pretty good time to fall off at the first moment. But I see somebody taking off. It's like this, this person that you see that's ready. Like, you know, just how their stance is, you know, just where they are. You know that they're about to take off and they're about to 
win this race. I wanted to say smoke everybody. <laughs> That's what we used to say. But <clears throat> you know they're about to take off and win this race. This is you. If you're resonating, you're about to take off. All you got to do is wait for that. It's probably going to be a phone call. Something's going to be... You do have the writer coming in with a sign, some good news. So it's good. But it's going... There's action for you to be taking. And we do have the birds in the way. We're not... We're not... Um, we not shocked. We're not surprised. That don't make us fumble a little bit. Um... Somebody could, could face a lot of criticism doing something that they're doing that they want to do. <clears throat> Say with this card even go. Okay. Got the sun. There was another card that came out, but sun. Somebody faces a lot of criticism being in the spotlight because you're a star. Like somebody is shining so bright. Like somebody may compliment your energy today. Like you have you have a light, something about your light. Like we really we have a star in our hands. This could be a divine feminine. A divine feminine could be. Um, significant for you there could be divine feminines that are you can mostly have criticism from women um it could be women that give you the most harsh criticism it's just divine feminine is definitely a significant here you could be divine feminine there could be a divine feminine that's significant there could be a divine feminine that's giving you this news um and we do have the letter too a sign of good news so for some of you guys it may be a divine feminine giving you this news. Um, also, this is just a, a next, an, another message. Your love life is protected. For some of you guys, especially if you are going on new dates and things like that, it is protected. So um, yeah, there's some type of protection. There's also some good fortune that you could possibly be getting into um getting from a love relationship i have been hearing a lot of marrying well somebody is marrying well or dating well um type of energy they could date people that can give them certain opportunities put them in, in, in alignment with things that they're supposed to it's like some something good coming out of like your love life like, I feel like there's some type of opportunity or there's someone that you meet or a place that you go where you're like, oh, this was destined. Like, it's a it's a no-brainer. But I do feel like that there is, there is a star here. There's a star. Um, meditate more. It's like preparing for... Like prepare your body like what this what do athletes do to prepare for a game the night before like rest up eat good drink your water you know get your mind right you close by the birds get away from the birds get away from it all all right we got face off somebody's making weird faces in police activity somebody has police activity Somebody could be, be meeting some weird police that's making weird faces. <laughs> I thought you were an easy target. Nope. <laughs> nope. Whoever is planning on doing whatever, you got a whole new vibe coming in. If somebody was... Whoever was planning on doing whatever, okay, they going they going to f around and find out. That's all I'm gonna say. They're going to f around and find out. They can get the wrong impression about you all they want, but they're gonna find out. 
But they won't have to F around and find out. Okay. Because you're ready. You're making your this whole thing is of you making yourself ready. So easy target. <laughs> A whole time you on guard. You may look peaceful. You may look like, you know. You may look like you're in a weak position. What could possibly be making you um, look like a target? Because everybody could be losing their mind and trying to do, you know, the most. But you are actually resting before something. You are actually getting yourself in position. You are conditioning your mind to get somewhere, to do something, to be ready, to be on guard, you know? I also feel like looks can be deceiving. You probably don't wear it on your face because... Before something happens, just naturally there's butterflies, you know, naturally there's like, this is about to happen. So you probably have a poker face. And somebody thought you were easy to, to get. This could also be a lover. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a lot of people who thought you were easy to get. Like they thought that they was going to get you and you were going to be wrapped around their finger the whole time they wrapped around your finger. Okay. So it, it could just, it's just that thing like I thought. I thought it was sweet, but it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, somebody's going to have to F around and find out. Somebody um thought you were an easy target. Nourish the sacred feminine. Divine feminine energy is very, very big. Very big here. This could be your energy. It's just really, really big here. This could be somebody who you're dealing with energy. All right. The spark of the hustle. What I say, what I say. Somebody also needs to fall in love with their own fire. I mean, with their own um story. This is going to set your world on fire. Also, there's another message that a person really needs to fall in fall in love with themselves right now. Not when you get this, not when you get married, not when you have kids, not when you make this amount, not when you lose weight, not when you, not right now. Your story is enough. Right now, just where, just where you are. Your story is enough to love. Because guess what? You're enough to love. Always enough to love. Never lacking anything. That's just a nasty thought. So I feel like somebody needs to love themselves more. That's possibly what you could be doing while you wait. Building yourself up, being your own biggest cheerleader. Being intimate with yourself, taking yourself on dates. Because I feel like something is going to directly correlate to what you need to be ready for. Like if it's self-love and building yourself up, you may have to do something where you have to be extremely brave and confident in. And that self-love is just only going to add an extra flair to it because it's going to be authentic. For some of you guys, it may be you being punctual about something. You waking up on time. You um, also getting your health or something. You may have to use your body. Okay. Um, it could be forgiveness. You may have to release something like spiritually. Right, let's see what's coming out for Libra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you find something here that resonates, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. What does your soul say? Your mindset, tower. Your soul says you could have worked on your mindset. Um, towers are limiting beliefs. They are old faulty belief systems. They can be whole foundations, family structures, family dynamics, things like that. Um, what your soul is saying right now is that you could be working to destruct a faulty system. You could have already destructed a faulty system or you need to start working to, to um, destruct a faulty system. And first is going to start with you so you don't have to worry about being the person to actually physically be the one to stop a faulty foundation like i'm going to 
you know, blow the whistle or I'm going to do whatever. There's some type of belief systems that you could have adopted by being in a certain type of environment that you may need to destruct, okay? Also, something is being revealed to you, the truth. There is going to be a celebration. There is a rebuilding here. So this is very, very symbolic for you. Somebody is, um, you could definitely be in the rebuilding stage or you are, you are about to rebuild a new home. But some of you guys, this is very, very significant in your home life, in your children, your love life. That's probably why your love life was protected. Um, people you hold dear to you are protected. Those bonds, those unions are protected. You could be building a totally different dynamic when it comes to um, sorry about that you can be building a whole different dynamic when it comes to family love it's just you're building this new foundation in this building on love so you're about to build it for some of you guys this can be um you expanding your family for some of you guys you can be you building a new family um a new foundation where it's you know financially you know stable something more stable depending on what you've been through and what your negative mind could have told you um about life in general and which are just circumstances, the things that you can't control, like you are born in a certain type of area in a certain type of family, you had certain types of a certain type of childhood that can definitely. So I feel like somebody definitely definitely need to look into childhood, especially like childhood traumas and things that you could have adopted, especially when it comes to family life. I feel like somebody could not have been raised on a foundation of love. And that is just. The key point to it of building a new foundation where love is at its center okay where you're 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 watering something with love whatever type of way that may be for you in whatever group it could be in a friendship group it could be in a work environment it could be at home but i feel like family life is definitely going to be very very significant to you um, when you leave something or you have left something or your soul is telling you to leave something and get your victory, get yours. There is something that is directly keeping you and holding you back from what is yours. It could be a mindset. It could be a whole foundation. The rules just may not apply to you and your soul and what you want in your life. So you kind of feel constricted as you are trying to be respectful and you're trying to obey certain rules that just aren't aligned with who you are naturally. So your soul is telling you that some type of foundation is just not serving you emotionally at your core because you don't feel the love in it because it wasn't built on love. But some of you guys, you always knew this. You always felt like something was missing, something was weird, something was off. Especially, I'm getting, like, especially to a person who was, especially to like somebody um, younger, you know, somebody who was young, they felt this. This could be in your childhood. You really felt off. You could have, you could have overextended yourself trying to trying to fulfill something that was missing. You could have um, looked for love in all the wrong places because you kind of felt like you were searching for something. Um, and there's this like this irresistible craving. It's like this irresistible want, like no matter what. There's always this search for it. And then you learn through life that you find that love within and then you build all of those things, all of your small foundations, all of your plants, everything with love. So that is what somebody is, is doing right now. And that is what your soul is basically. Your soul could be telling you to like, yeah, it's time for you to leave a faulty foundation. Your, your soul could be telling you it's time for you to replant and rebuild and build it on love. And not be afraid because you're out in the unknown and not try to conform and stick to certain things. You've outgrown it, literally. 
literally too big to be in a certain place. Literally can't fit something that, you know, literally could have outgrown a style, outgrown a, like you literally outgrown something. What else is coming through for Libra? All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is a funny way for you to get some good news. Queen of Pentacles in reverse highlights the jealousy in a person. Um, <laughs> it highlights a person being jealous of something. You do have the Emperor here. This could be somebody who's mean or something. We do have the Emperor. We have... This could be a job. This could be some really good news when it comes to... I feel like... There could also be somebody who is a little jealous or envious of your, like, love life or something like that. Somebody is getting, like... When I see the page and the world card... Somebody is getting a, like, when I say we have a star in our hands, like, are you ready? Like, something is about to blow. Something's about to boom. This is a person who's, like, just, like, literally, like, starting out. Like, just getting a taste of some type of information in a certain type of area. And the moment that you peek into it, boom. The moment that you peek into something, it explodes. I want to see who, like, <laughs> what's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Somebody could be upset, like, look, you feeling yourself. Somebody could be upset, like, somebody could be upset that you, the Queen, because you have the Queen of Pentacles with the page. Is that the page? Yeah, the page. Queen of Pentacles with the page. There's some good news that you get, but there could be somebody who's not. And this person could be close. This person could be right there when you get the good news. Um, Ten of Swords, end of cycle. This is new birth. This is a whole new cycle, side of relief, an ending of something, some sorts. You go in it. Something literally expands the moment you peek into it. I feel like all spirit needed you to do was peek. Just peek. All it had to do was bring something down there that sparked your curiosity. And then we have the spark of the hustle. Somebody is about to change something up. And you can possibly be adding like what you already know to something. Um, but you're about to change something up. It seems like you're about to peek into something. The siren. The ultimate male fantasy. There's, I'm also getting like strong energy where you can have a mother that don't like you in a relationship, a sister that doesn't like you in a relationship. Um, and I feel like if, if this is happening to you, this person is going to give off the idea that you're just with the person because of money or opportunity. Um, <clears throat> if you're a masculine, it's going to be like opportunity. If you're a feminine, it's going to be your, like you're there for just like money. To be like spent on somebody could ha somebody could definitely be that type of person who's the siren and they have a lot of people who spend a lot of money on them but you're like a fantasy coming into place so it doesn't seem real to a person so instead of understand it they try not to they try to disassociate themselves with it but this is the queen of pentacles is coming like they're start like they're starting off something with this envy jealousy type of thing be careful on the relationships that you may be making um look look extreme sexual chemistry your beautiful smile like it's it, this is what a person is seeing about you your beautiful smile 
Damn, I just really wish we could have. Y'all could have what? <laughs> You got some good news. I also feel like that there could be a person's ex that could be coming towards you. I mean, that could be giving you a little something. Starting off the relationship on a, the note of like envy, jealousy type of vibes. What else do we got about the siren? Not the siren, the queen of pentacles. Somebody is going to be, okay, so somebody is also upset that the love is real. I'm getting like a person like in there, they're seeing you in all your glory and glory in your siren self and you dressed. Of course, that's how you get that. Of course. And you dressed, okay. Dress nice. You know, Libras have nice style. No matter what it is, they like just have this nice style, whether it's weird and the person doesn't understand it or whether it's like on trend. They, they just are very well-dressed people. And the love is real. And they're coming in here looking like a fantasy, like they don't look real. You might have some type of unique type of beauty about yourself. Tell me more about the birds. Whatever this person does, they may take your um, your beautiful smile. The fact that you seem sexual and feminine or just like, you know, they might take that as like a sign of weakness. But remember, somebody's going to have to F around and find out that you're just not the one that kind of, you know, tolerates <laughs> disrespect. Yeah. We have the five of wands here coming out so the birds are upset and the birds are actively if you are around the birds the birds are actively actively trying to keep you where they are the birds are actively it's kind of like the crabs in the barrel mentality they are actually pulling you down trying to get you back down to the bottom of the barrel okay this could also be like bottom of the barrel type stuff type people type energy type whatever it's just something that's just very very low vibrational and a person is trying to keep you in a low vibrational point now this could be whatever foundation that you decided that you are not that's not serving you emotionally it's not going to be like oh we'll go free and find that um and build your own fine foundation love no it's gonna be like who you think you are that you better than this this is all we know this is all i know and you, and you feel like you're better. I, that's something that I don't really understand. Because. And this probably is just my Libra. It's just me understanding that like we're supposed to learn and grow. And just how the world evolves. And the world comes on like new. Like it's so many kids now that are just so like savvy. And the social media is on phones. Know how to do things with apps that you know. A lot of people don't really know how to do that, Savvy, because it's that was the times they were in. So given with the times, it's like the people are just getting smarter and smarter and smarter to me, my understanding. And I would think that the whole goal of the foundation is to evolve, to ascend, not to stay where it's at. So my understanding is like if you know something that could be helpful, you find something new that could definitely be helpful for the foundation of all. Of course, I want to know it no matter how painful it is, no matter how, you know, much it may make me feel uncomfortable. If it's something that could possibly make me grow, then I want to know. And that's probably just me being nosy. <laughs> Wanting to know everything. Like, I, I want to know it all. So, actively, these people are trying to... Also, a ring. This just kind of stood out to me. Somebody could definitely be married. Somebody could have, like, a very, very big um, diamond ring here. Also, somebody can have a tattoo on their finger. Um, in this group, it looks like there's two married people. There could be a married couple. You could be, there could be a married couple too. Um, that's trying to get you. And this could be these people who think you're a fool. 
Like they thought you were an easy target. They thought that they could just pull you down. Like, no. Um, also, a person thought that they can just treat you a certain type of way. Look. Literally fighting the whole pack by yourself. And this is probably why a person thought that you would be easy because they jump in you <laughs> or trying to jump you. It just reminds me of like, you. It, it, sometimes it happens when like, it'd be a group of people trying to jump somebody, but they totally underestimate the person's skill, not condoning violence at all, just using it as a nice analogy. And that one person takes on everybody. So now they got to sit in that car ride. I just be like wanting to be a fly on the wall on that car ride home. Do you acknowledge that y'all just <laughs> embarrass your, yourself? Thinking that, thinking that everybody, you know, just first of all, being low vibrational. First of all, putting yourself in the line of karma because that, that has to, it, the scales have to be balanced. And then losing so it's something that multiple people thought that they were, they were going to put on you and you're actually winning so you i feel like a person is you, you could definitely be in a place where you are you know out the foundation has crumbled it, it doesn't work anymore All right yeah look at the queen of swords looking accomplished looking like i did that you know the truth also not taking anything so this may be a time in your life where you get assertive because it's this energy of you not taking it. It's this energy of you not going for it. It's this energy of you know your worth. It's this energy of knowing too. Tell me more about the sun. Exposure. There could definitely be a divine feminine feminine that could be getting uh, exposed. The world card. You. You have the sun with the world. The sun is already expansion, exposure, moving to the next level, popularity things like that with the sun somebody has some really really like we have a star on our hands somebody could be getting discovered or some type of work could be getting discovered and widely recognized all throughout the world and it's this big like are you ready for this what a per would you be ready for like tomorrow you to go viral or would you be ready for like tomorrow you to be discovered your work to be discovered especially for artists i feel like some somebody here is very very creative so especially for like an artist are you actually ready i feel like a person is in the spotlight completely look at the page look at the page don't underestimate these little ideas or these little things that you're like oh i want to learn more about that oh i would love to try that that is the money that is the money right there. Somebody needs to try it. <laughs> try it. Okay. You Not only do you have the page of um, Pentacles trying something and having his uh, the thirst for knowledge and the thirst to know more, the thirst to learn, the thirst to be a student, to be taught. Not only that's happening, but also you're having this thirst to change your perspective for you to see something completely different. Possibly you. It's probably your life that you're able to see something completely different. We got the nine of pentacles here. And we have the high priestess. That is not just a little child, a curious child. That is your high priestess energy. That's your intuition calling you to something. And it's starting, it's, it's, it's planting seeds in your inner child. So be mindful of what your inner child wants to watch, wants to look at, wants to whatever. I don't know why it seemed like you should take notes. Like somebody needs to take notes. It seemed like something would be very, very helpful. But something starting with your inner child. Just plant, like putting little seeds out there. Put little nubs, little pebbles. 
Like they're not going to resist this. I know them. This is your inner knowing. I know me. Not going to be able to resist this. This is your higher self literally planting, putting little seeds so you can come in a certain path where you're supposed to go. <clears throat> Okay. There's a messenger that's coming. There's also a person that needs to forget what somebody said to them. This could be a divine feminine. A divine feminine said something. This could also be not forget, forgive forgive work through heal um this could also be leaving a certain type of a certain group of people or leaving a group of people a significant group of people that you could be you know still thinking about the worst of the situation you left the situation. I like this card because it shows how these are just dreams and you have your two cups and you're just thinking about the things that us uh, that happened in the past. You're still just crying over spilled milk. It's already spilled. Um, there's a need for you to create some type of self-love practice, create some type of ritual or something. And this self-love practice, it kind of gets you back on the money. So whatever it is that you like, that you enjoy doing um, with yourself, Whatever happened, justice, you got justice right here with those three cups. So whatever happened, justice definitely will be served in your favor. Also, yeah, it's, it's, these three cups are very significant. It's a need for you to leave them behind. This is a group of people. This is a certain type of community. This could be a certain type of work um, group. This could be certain uh, family members. This could be certain friends. There's something that could have possibly happened. I feel like you could have walked away from this already or you're about to, you're getting ready to walk away from something. Period. The ending, sigh of relief. You're going to be relieved. What's this negative energy? You're going to be relieved. What else is coming through for Libra? Thank you, thank you, thank you. The moon. It's cancer energy. Face off. Somebody could be having a face off with the cancer. Someone could also be back to this queen of pentacles energy. That could be a person surrounding you that is upset because of the big gift that you receive. You receive something from the universe, but this is actually something from your hard work. You receive some type of repayment or something like that for your hard work and the person could be upset about it. They can be hiding this very, very well too, especially if they have like significant moon or cancer placements. They could definitely be hiding something really, really, really well. Um, There's something that you could possibly see on your phone or their phone that could illuminate something. Yes, Spirit is about to show you their true colors. Like somebody was hiding something. Somebody was hiding it. There's... There is this energy of something great coming to you out of the blue. Yeah, you're really, really happy. I feel like you're going to have to balance it, though. You can have multiple things coming to you out of the blue. You got the two of wands. There's a person who you're going to see in um, passing or who you could possibly see in tribal and they're making weird faces weird faces <laughs> the 
You got the Ten of Pentacles. There's a person who could be winking at you or getting you to like, you know how like, let's say you're playing poker or something, you got to make a weird face to somebody. Like, I feel like you won't, a person won't be able to say something, but they're going to like nod you or pay attention to a person like kind of speaking to you through like facial express expressions and stuff like that. Um... This could be you. You could definitely be very, very wealthy. Like, I, I feel like wealth could definitely be coming to you or some type of information about wealth. The Eight of Cups. You're on this journey, like, now. You're on this journey. You're traveling. With the will of fortune here. Yeah, you're traveling on this journey. Injustice. Okay. Justice is in your favor. Justice changes your life. The fact that you have, yeah, the empress, the fact that you have justice in a situation, it changes your life. Look at the Seven of Swords that got caught red-handed, the Strength card, and the Empress is like, good, good. Somebody gets caught, okay. You may, okay, I see the police here, so this could, somebody's going to be looking weird. And that also brings a, 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 a ending. Somebody's looking very, very weird. Let's see. Somebody could be looking like guilty. We got the Empress in reverse. Okay, so I feel like this could be like mother energy with this police energy. Empress is upset, big upset. What is the Empress upset for? Something to do with police? Nourish the divine feminine. Oh, can't trust a thief. And you got a wise older man. There could be a wise older man that could be helping you out. The workplace could be significant. You weren't supposed to run in a pack anyway. So th this could be the effects of running in a pack. I feel like you're hurt because somebody somebody you love dearly um, betrays your trust. They could take something from you. Someone gets caught though. And this justice changes your life. Got the hangman. Yep, now you're ready. Now you're ready to put, put your knowledge or put your different perspective or your different understanding. You're ready to put that into action. You soaked up all you all you could know. Like everything. I feel like this tells you everything that you need to know. Yeah, we have the hermit here. Ready for your journey. You're wise enough for your journey. Now you know everything that you need to know. And also your mind is made up. Got the Knight of Swords here. Let's see. Ooh. Yep, Ten of Wands.
somebody feels bad and yeah, somebody finds out all right yeah somebody finds out um i do feel like somebody's gonna be stressed loaded with something loaded with some type of guilt like heavy burden too also have a gift here i feel like something is yours something is definitely yours i feel like if if this is a corporation you're gonna find out that the corporation has been doing something for a while and you get repaid a lot a whole lot of something but somebody thought that they could just do do that to you for some reason Sacred Feminine is weak, tired, needs her rest. She's tired. She needs to let the masculine do some things for her. She needs to drink from her cup. She possibly could be deprived of water or be dehydrated. Um, you could be dehydrated right now. I also feel like there could be somebody who wants to take care of you and let, and let yourself be taken care of. Got the Ace of Cups here. Got the Two of Cups with the Four of Cups. Somebody, this this, this could be an ex approaching you with somebody from the past. Um, yeah, a lot of passion. You need that. Somebody could be like sexually frustrated. Also, pay attention to some type of visions that you may get during sex or uh, masturbation. Got a lot of those sparks of um ideas and inspirations that could be coming to you brilliant ideas all right we have the high high priestess i told you the high priestess was trying to plant seeds for you to get um we do have the king of pentacles here like a person could be seeing snails baby birds a bird's nest even um tree stumps like a significant like significant tree stump somebody could also be seeing bamboo a lot of bamboo um And seeing a lot of elders. Seeing a lot of elders. There's also someone who's ending the cycle of poverty. We have a star in our hands. You get to end this cycle of poverty. You came here, you reincarnated to see what it felt like to be rich. All right. I'm going to leave it right here, guys. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.